Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be leaving our beautiful earth and going on an adventure to a newly discovered white dwarf that seems to be like super super weird. There's something that orbits it that doesn't really make sense. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. So first of all, quick reminder, what's a white dwarf? Well, this here is our sun. And one day, specifically about 5 billion years from now, our sun is actually going to expand and then contract, turning into a white dwarf. A tiny, tiny star with a lot of mass, similar to the neighbor that we have here, known as Sirius B. Now, this is basically an extremely dense object. It's actually about the size of planet Earth, but has a mass of pretty much the actual sun itself. And here, if I actually run this simulation, you'll see that um, they kind of start orbiting around one another and possibly even collide with one another because both of these objects are very massive. So we discovered another such unusual object, white dwarf specifically, that seems to have very, very unusual object orbiting around it. In other words, it seems that it has some sort of a planet. Let's actually talk a little bit more about this before um, we try to recreate this in Universe Sandbox, but essentially, if I were to go to the nearby star known as Sirius B, um, this is the closest white dwarf we've discovered so far. It's only something like eight light years away from us, and here, as you can see, it also has a partner known as Sirius A. Now, this is a relatively small in terms of size star, uh, but it doesn't seem to have anything around it. There doesn't seem to be any planets, we haven't really discovered any, and um, it seems to potentially have nothing here in orbit, unless it's really small. Now, we have discovered white dwarfs that seem to have rings around them. Specifically, there is one that was recently discovered, and you can find the video for this above my head somewhere. Um, but normally, because of the way that these uh, white dwarfs evolve, they are not supposed to have anything there. Basically, after the uh, sun turns into a white dwarf, it's going to shred a lot of planets, it's going to turn them into this, uh, just mass orbiting around it, but eventually all of the stuff will either fall into the white dwarf or will get kicked out of the actual star system. So at the end, the white dwarf will be kind of alone. But the white dwarf we've just discovered with a relatively challenging name that I'm not going to try to pronounce because it has a lot of numbers in it, but you can see it on the screen, um, is actually something unusual because it has a very interesting object in orbit. It essentially has a very strange planet orbiting around it um, in orbit that takes it about two hours. Now, it's strange for several reasons. First of those reasons, as you can see, if you actually place anything so close to the white dwarf, it's actually going to fall apart and will most likely turn into nothingness because of the actual tidal forces. Now, we're going to wait a little bit just to see what's left here. Um, but at the same time, we are definitely almost positive that there is something in orbit here. And it's not just um, a typical planet, it's most likely an extremely dense planet because the only way for anything to survive this close to the white dwarf, it has to be super dense. Now, for example, if it's made of iron, it can be as big as about 600 kilometers in size. And this would make it somewhat similar to objects like Ceres, for example, in terms of size. However, if it's made out of rock and water like this one was, in that case, it can only be about 4 kilometers in size and will, even then will still probably fall apart. Now, the study that you can actually find in the description below about this particular object suggests that the actual temperature here is over 2000 degrees Celsius. And that's because of three main reasons. And it's actually kind of interesting because it really helps us understand how white dwarves are so different from anything we are familiar with. So first of all, obviously, it gets a little bit of heat from the actual white dwarf. Even though it's a small star, it's still technically kind of a star. It's basically an object that still emits heat because there's a lot of heat left there. Um, so it gets a little bit of that. It also gets a lot of tidal effects. And these tidal effects do raise its temperature by a few hundreds of degrees. And as you can see here, the tidal effects also cause this object to basically fall apart completely. And it's still getting smaller, actually. But there is another really interesting effect that uh, this white dwarf exerts on this, I guess you can call it planet, that um, we don't really see anywhere else. That's something called magnetic induction. Basically, think of a microwave oven. It's kind of doing that. 
the white dwarf here is actually quite magnetically strong because it's essentially um, an object that's similar to a star, but it's also spinning. And because it's spinning and because it's moving around, it's creating a pretty strong magnetic field that's actually noticeable at this distance. And this magnetic field is sort of unofficially cooking this object um, alive or essentially increasing its temperature by a few hundred degrees again. Now, uh, without those two effects of magnetic induction and tidal effects, the temperature here would be maybe about um, 1,500 degrees. But because of those two extra effects, it gets to over 2,000 degrees. And so the only way for this object to actually survive and not fall apart um, is to be made of something really, really dense and uh, something that has a relatively high melting point. Now, um, in this case, iron nickel core, which is, I think that's what's left here, would potentially work, but at the same time, um, not necessarily. It might actually not work just yet. So there is a chance that this object is made of something even more dense. Like, for example, maybe it's something like osmium, which is the densest metal we know currently on Earth. So if this thing is made of osmium, um, it could actually be even bigger in size and still be okay here. So it's a pretty cool object. It's definitely a really interesting discovery and um, definitely tells us a little bit more about white dwarfs. They definitely can have planets, they can have rings, and they can actually have functional systems, which means that they can, of course, one day have a habitable planet. And I'm sure there are some that already do. Now, for a planet to be habitable at this distance, um, first of all, it has to be somehow protected from the magnetic field. And also, it obviously has to be a little bit more far away. Uh, there's a lot of effects here we are still not really familiar with, so maybe just maybe life would still not survive. But technically, if I were to place Earth somewhere um, farther away from this distance, it could potentially actually be habitable and essentially have life. Now, as you can see, the light here is relatively dim, so it wouldn't really get that much light, but it would get enough heat and it would still get some light from this object uh, to maintain its uh, habitability and of course, liquid water. Now at this distance, I think it takes it about 11 hours per orbit. And that means that um, there's definitely a chance for us to one day discover a habitable world uh, or at least um, a planet that could be habitable um, somewhere around the white dwarf. And because white dwarfs are pretty common, they're actually relatively common stars, uh, we could one day discover many of these. But for now, the only discovery we have is of this weird, unusual, and super dense object that doesn't really have a name just yet, uh, in orbit around the white dwarf um, with a difficult name, but you can find the name in the description below in the study. Anyway, on that note, that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. I wanted to briefly talk about how unusual and strange white dwarfs are, but also about this unusual discovery of this object right here that's still falling apart, because this is not a safe place for any planet to be. On that note, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.